This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Well, good morning to you. I'm Gina Maravilla. Here are the latest stories that we are following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. Fire investigators are looking into what caused a fire overnight at a strip mall. This was near the 51 and Indian School. The fire damaged a martial arts center and locksmith business as well. Firefighters tell us it was a large dumpster fire that extended to the back of the strip mall. Crews were able to quickly stop it from spreading, and the good news, no one was inside the building and no firefighters were hurt. Now to the state capitol. State Republicans are pushing a bill that would not allow abortions for a fetus with a genetic abnormality, like Down syndrome, for example. If it becomes law, doctors could face criminal charges in prison time for performing abortions. The bill's sponsor, Senator Nancy Bartow, says that unborn children diagnosed with disabilities are being targeted. Abortion rights activists say the move is unconstitutional. Every woman is afforded the right to uh, safe and professional decisions on their reproductive health care rights. What we're trying to do is protect those that are most vulnerable in the womb. And right now, it's those with disabilities. Well, it did pass the state Senate and a key committee in the House, so now it will go to a full vote in the House before going to the governor's desk if it is indeed passed through the full House. A new pop-up vaccination site is now open in Phoenix. It's at Harmon Park near Fifth Avenue in Buckeye. Organizers say the area is currently underserved and they want to make sure that residents there have easy access to the vaccine. The site will be open all week. You do still need to be eligible to get the vaccine, meaning you have to be at least 55 years old or older. You'll need to make an appointment in advance on the county's website. How about a high of 82 degrees for today in Phoenix? We'll see temperatures climb a little bit to the uh, mid 80s for Friday, Saturday, back down to 80 for Sunday, and then a chance for some rain next week with temperatures falling to the mid 70s. Dan, uh, for more updates and other stories that we are following, you can certainly download our app and subscribe to our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Gina Maravilla. Have a great day.